today I'm opening up a $275 Boom Loot Epic Vaulted and Exclusive Mystery Box. $275. So what's in here? There are 10 total pops. And it is guaranteed value. It says there could be some doubles on some variants. It's a slight possibility. I've never received doubles when I've bought from Boom Loot in the past though. And used with Boom Loot, everything is usually pretty minty. There's usually not very much damage. Might be some small like little box blemish here or there, but nothing that I'd call damaged. So let's do this. Boom Loot $275 mystery box. They always have good luck with Boom Loot boxes. They go on sale every Monday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 8.30 Central, 7.30 Mountain, and then 6.30 Pacific. Yeah, I think I got all the time zones correct, I think. Get all these out, and we'll start cracking these open. I know, uh, I think like the biggest hit in this box might have been like a $400 pop, I think it was, if I remember correctly. There was like one big hit available in all these boxes. And will I get it? That one feels a little bit heavier. Eh, maybe not. Actually it does, we'll do that one last. It's actually on the very bottom. Here we go, first ones. I have to break the boom loot seal, get them opened up. We'll do two at a time and look at PPG values. Here we go, first one. What do we get? Oh, we have the Mandalorian Funko Shop exclusive Mando. Pretty cool. Not a very viable pop though. It's pretty much like a, a, a Funko Shop common. Here you go, number two. We got Trax 2021 NYCC shared sticker of Trax from Transformers. Let's see PBG these first two pops. Trax is coming in at $47. Mando is coming in at $22. Bucks. So the first two pops, we're looking at $69 for the first two pops. So there's still eight more to go. There should still be a lot of good stuff, a lot of good possibilities left. So hopefully those next two pops get something out kind, kind of cool. Because this first box wasn't anything that was like earth shattering, like expensive, anything like that. Here we go. Next two. See what goodies lie awake, lie awake, lie waiting for us. What is that? Oh, it was upside down. Sailor Uranus. Very nice. This one is a 2020. It might be vaulted now. A lot of the, the set of moon pops have gotten vaulted. Here we go. Pop number four. We have. The special edition diamond collection, the vision. Pretty cool. These two, let's see PBG value. The diamond collection, the vision is coming in at $26. And the sailor Uranus is coming in at 34 bucks for that price point. It's probably going to be Volta. So right now we're looking at 129 total after the first four pops. So rolling along, this box cost me, was it 275 So we're chipping away at it. We're almost, almost have gotten half the money back in just the first four pops. Six left. Here we go. Next two. Break that boom loot seal. This feels really light. I think I see Jordan. Yep, I can see in my camera screen. I thought I saw Jordan and we got a Jordan. This is the newest Upper Deck exclusive, the 1980, or 1980, 1996 All-Star Game Jordan. Very nice. Wearing those Columbia Jordan 11s in those two. I keep all my Jordan Pops. I do not sell them. I keep them all. They go on top of my sneaker wall, on top of all my Jordans. Here you go, Pop number six. We have Upside Down, ooh, LeBron James. Ugh, <laughs> always put Michael on top of LeBron, always. But LeBron James, let's see PPG value of these two. LeBron James as a cowboy from the newest Space Jam movie, which I'm not ever going to watch it. 
28 bucks. Pot number two of the greatest basketball player of all time, the GOAT, Michael Jordan. This was coming in at $46. So after those two pots, now we're at $203. We're pretty much around $70-ish short of what the price point was with four pops left. And so far, the biggest hit has been that Jordan. has been the biggest hit, which is only, what, $47? Like, there's a very good possibility that there is going to be at least one more pop that's probably worth more than that Jordan. I'm, I'm guessing. I, I could be wrong, though. Here you go, pop seven and pop eight. This box, though, has a little weight to it. It could also just be a, a super heavy pop, too. Some pops are just heavier than other pops. I think it goes this way. Here we go. Upside down. Nope, I got it right that time. We have Master Chief E3 2018 Master Chief. He is all see-through. He's clear. Fun fact, I've never played Halo in my life. I've never played it. I've always been a PlayStation guy. Here we go pop number eight. What's it, which one is that? One piece Usopp with a like a slingshot looking thing. One piece. This one is a 20, 20, 2021 pop. Not super old. Let's see PPG value of these two. This Usopp's coming in at 27 bucks. That seems kind of high. I'm actually going to check the Funko app, see if it's vaulted or not. No, it says this thing is available. Which means it can restock a few more times in stores. So always be careful on restocks. Three or four year old pops. They can restock any time like the B Rabbit, the M M pop. Right now it's worth like 80 bucks. It's not vaulted. And they're starting to pop up again in Walmart stores around the country. So don't pay too much for the B Rabbit M M pop because you're gonna be able to get it for retail here again all over the place, more than likely. And we got the Master Chief with active camo. This is actually the best hit so far out of all the pops, $49. So right now, grand total, we're looking at 279. So at this point, the first eight pops, I've broken even. So these last two pops, no matter what, are potentially pure profit. So the best hit so far was that last one worth $49. So still no like massive knockout hit yet. Nothing that makes us, you know, jump up and down for joy or anything like that. But this box has more weight to it than the other I wonder if this has a like a heart stack in or something. It just has a little bit. It's either a super super heavy pop, or some pop is in a protector or something. Because this this one does have more weight in it, which could be a sign. There we go. Which one's the heavier one? This 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 one's the heavy one. We'll do that. We'll do that last. Here we go. Pop number nine. We have Walrus and the Carpenter. Alice in Wonderland 2021 SDCC shared sticker. Probably nothing crazy value right there again, more than likely. Nothing crazy. Here we go, last pop. This has a little bit of weight to it. Is it a pop protector? Maybe. You ready? Oh, it's just a heavier pop. Buffed Chopper is just a heavier pop. So that kind of tricked us there. Sometimes. Those heavier pops can make you think you got like a hard stack or something, but just has more weight to it. Let's see PPG value these last two pops. Buff Chopper 2021 ECCC shared sticker. This one's coming in at $47. And last pop, the what is this? Walrus and the Carpenter at Alice in Wonderland. This is 2021 SDCC shared sticker coming in at $27. Gives me a grand total. 353 so i'm actually 75 dollars more in value than what i paid so i would call that a success that's almost 10 20 30 percent more than what i paid i think is is my math right Pro probably not but i think around 30 percent more than what i paid so no massive massive hit the best hit i think it was like what 49 dollars was the best hit in this box but it was 10 very solid pops nothing was junk it was all exclusives so i'm happy with that so everything in this box that you saw will be for selling a future whatnot live auction. Make sure you download whatnot app directly down below. Use that link. You'll save 10 bucks on your first purchase. 
whatnot is where I sell all my pops, my comics, all my collectibles, live auction style now. And all these also will be put into brand new seven bucks a pop pop shield pop protectors. My favorite pop protector that I use in all of my fungal pops. They'll also be a drug down below at sendboxpop.com. Check them out for all your pop protector needs.